namaste to all so now i will start for the exercise 4.3 question number 9 it is given so i read down the question two water taps together can fill a tank in 9 and 3 by 8 hours the tap of the larger diameter takes 10 hour less than the smaller one to fill the tank separately Find the time in which each step can separately fill the tank. So you have to find uh, two different times for different step. So for that, I we can consider uh, let the time taken by the larger step to fill the tank be x hour because it is given larger diameter takes 10 hour less than the smaller one so to some means larger diameter tank diameter tap takes what 10 hour less so if you take um, uh, for that we can take larger tap time taken by the larger tap is what x hour so for the smaller tap it is x plus 10 Okay. So, so time taken by the smaller tap is x plus 10 hour. So, uh, we consider a tank. Suppose this is a tank. Okay, uh, one pipe is suppose this is the larger, larger pipe. Okay, to so fill up the water. Okay, and this is a smaller pipe for this is what fill up the tank. This is larger. And this is smaller tank smaller tank okay so uh, if you fill up by this this larger tap so how much time actually it take if you fill up by smaller tap then for fill up the tank so how much time it will take so it is given both the both the tank um, for fill up filling the tank both the tap for filling the tank is what it is it, they take total time 9 and 3 by 8 hours okay so uh, in in what uh, time taken by the larger tap is what x hour so in one hour so how much it will fill up the tank so that is 1 by x and the tank filled by smaller tap that is 1 by x plus 10 so according to question the time taken by in our both the tank how much time they will take actually how much they fill up fill the tank that is 1 by x plus 1 by x plus l because they are together then their total time is 9 and 3 by 8 hour okay so in one hour then what what um, uh, what amount of water they can fill that is 1 by 9 3 by 8 part okay so now I simplify this uh, now this is the required condition okay uh, the, in one hour as, um, for the larger tap um, do how much fill fill 1 by x and for the smaller tap it will fill 1 by x plus 10 so this is equal to 1 by this why we take this 1 by this total time is 9 3 by 8 so in one hour for finding one hour that is 1 by this okay so now uh, I, um, take LCM x into x plus 10 so if you take LCM this is 2 x and x plus 10 you will get LCM so here x plus 10 and here you get x so this is a mixed fraction so you have to uh, convert into improper fraction uh, 72 plus 3 that is 75 by 8 so here x in x plus x you will get twice x plus 10 and here x okay now you cross multiply this 75 into twice x plus 10 and here 8 into this is x square plus 10 so simplify this 150 x plus 750 equal to 8x square plus 80x so if you rearrange this finally you get finally you get 4 finally you get 4x square minus 35x minus 375 okay this is the final 
what from here you see 8x square minus 70x minus 750 equal to 0 from this um, expression we take two common so if you take two common and um, that two is if you take in the right hand side this is will be zero so 4x square minus 35x minus 375 equal to zero you will get this is a which is a type of quadratic equation now you have to solve this now to now you have to find the solution of this quadratic equation by middle term factorization so you have to multiply this 4 into 375 then you will get what uh, uh one number you have to factorize so then you fact that factor is 60 and 25 so if you subtract this 25 from 60 you will get what this is 35 okay so our factor will be as uh, 60 and 25 from this two term you take 4x common then here x will be left and here 15 will be left again from this two term you take 25 common then x minus 20, 15 you will get so from this this two are common x minus 15 as a whole here 4x plus 15 so now x minus 15 equal to 0 you will get x equal to 15 and here 4x plus 25 equal to 0 and this is here you get minus 25 25 by 4 which is not possible because um, uh, time cannot be what negative hence uh, what, what can you say time taken by larger tab to fill the tank it is 15 hour and the smaller tab is more than 10 hour this means 15 plus 10 equal to 25 hour okay clear now i continue with this uh, question number 10 express train takes one hour less than a passenger train to travel 132 kilometer between Mysore to Bangalore without taking into consideration the time they stop in intermediate station well, you have to neglect the um, uh, intermediate stop time for the intermediate station if the average speed of the express train is 11 kilometer more than the speed of passenger train find the average speed of the two train so for that so we can consider speed of the passenger train is x kilometer per hour because uh, in the express train it will take 11 kilometer more so you can take um, consider speed of the passenger train is x kilometer per hour and speed of the express train is what x plus 11 kilometer per hour and total distance is given what 132 kilometer so time taken by passenger train so for passenger train how much time will take so uh, we know uh, time is equal to distance by speed so uh, 132 by x hour for time taken by the express train that is same distance 132 divided by speed then x plus 11 hours so according to question it is given the express train takes one hour less so express what is the time taken by the express train so uh, that is 132 x plus 11 this is time taken by express train it will take one hour less from the what passenger train so time taken by the passenger train is what 132 by x so this is equivalent to 132 by x plus 11 equal to 1 because the express passenger train takes one hour more so that is uh, here suppose the express train take 4 hour and it is given express train take 1 hour less than the what passenger train so passenger train if the express train takes 4 hour that means uh, time taken by the passenger train is what 4 plus 1 then you will get 5 like that so now I simplify this if you take this is in the right uh, left hand side this will be minus now you fact, L, take lcm x and x plus 11 that is x into x plus 11 so if you divide this by x you will get x plus 11 and x plus 11 into 132 you multiply this here also you get 132 minus 132 x this is equal to 1 okay taking cross multiplication so you will get 132x plus 1452 minus 132x this is equal to x into x plus 11 so this two term are same 
one is positive one is negative to cancel out so finally in the left hand side you will get 1452 and in the right hand side what you get x square plus 11x now we rearrange this x square plus 11x minus 1452 now we factorize this 1452 then um, finally i find this 44 and 33 if you subtract this for 33 from 44 you will get plus 11 so now you take from these two terms you take x common what you get x plus 44 finally here you take 33 common here you will get x uh, plus 44 this is equal to 0 and finally you will get x plus 44 and x minus 33 this is equal to 0 so now x plus 44 equal to 0 and x minus 33 equal to 0 so x equal to minus 44 this is not possible because distance cannot be what negative so from here what you get x equal to 33 so our final speed final what speed is what 33 kilometer so this is the speed of what this is the speed of what this is the speed of passenger train hence the speed of passenger train passenger what train and the speed of passenger train is equal to 33 kilometer per hour and speed of the express train that will be 33 plus 11 that is 44 kilometer per hour always we know for the express train it takes it, um, their speed is always more okay do you understand have you understood okay um, so finally we get what the speed of the passenger train is 33 kilometer per hour and speed of the express train is what 44 kilometer per hour thank you